myself arthur clive assistant professor department of mechanical engineering anshaya college of engineering and technology so disaster risk reduction management in this topic i am going to take about natural disasters that is the floods drought landslide and pandemic so these four topics are i'm going to cover it floods so floods refer to the inundations of the large part of land which otherwise remains dry by water for some durations of time so floods are one of the most common natural disaster occurring in many parts of the world every year so floods occur due to heavy rainfall within a short durations of time in a particular region which causes the rivers and streams to overflow since most of the precipitation occurs within span of 2 to 3 months during the rainy season most floods occur during that time the floods in the mountainous regions due to cloudburst of damming of streams are referred to as flash floods in flash floods the water drain away quickly but only after causing extensive damage the plain areas of a region which are drained by a number of rivers are the places most affected by floods so in india states like assam bihar and parts of uttar pradesh are quite prone to floods during the rainy season in ganga and brahmaputra rivers and they are most suitable for the floods however heavy rains cause occasionally floods in parts of gujarat maharashtra karnataka and even in tamil nadu okay flooding in india is the major problem and some parts of the other is affected by the flurry of floods usually during the months from july to december so what are the impacts of the in on the environmental so flood causes the spread of many epidemic diseases rapid run of causes soil erosions so wildlife habitat and forest are often destroyed man made structures like building bridges roads power lines etc are damaged so damage to the standing crops and degrade the agriculture land so flood this uh, areas are all affected by the flood so it is one of the dangerous and it comes under the natural disasters so flood affected areas so it shortened okay shortage loss of food food and drinking water so besides floods causes a number of water borne diseases such as diarrhea jaundice malaria during this flood seasons so it will affect the human beings health so what are the impacts what are the impacts on the environmental so the problem is further aggregated in the floods last for a longer durations of time so flood not only damage properties and lives of humans and animals but how other affect as well as such as flood causes the spread of many epidemic diseases so how it will be prevented though floods are the natural hazard it is sometimes it is intensified due to undesirable human activities the measure that can be taken to control the extent of flood damages including land using planning building or physical barriers preventing human 
and use of technology for relief so next we are going for drought so drought so drought is the conditions of abnormally dry weather within a geographical region drought refers to the lack of insufficiency of rain for an extended period of time in a specific region so during drought during drought rainfall is less than normal causing a water imbalance and resultant water shortage it occurs when the rate of evaporation and transpiration exceed <coughs> exceeds for the considerable period so drought should be should not be confused with dry climate as in tar deserts so it is one of the dry situations so drought is the conditions of abnormally dry weather within a geographical region so it will affect some of the areas and it will causes some damages to the human beings so how you will prevent how you will prevent before that we can see how it will impact the environmental how it will impact the environmental so the um, drought is caused by the degree of the moisture deficiencies its durations and the size of the area affected if the drought is brief it is known as dry spell or parenteral drought so water supply reservoir is become empty wells dry up and there is uh, acute wet water shortage so ground water level is also depleted because of less recharge so these are all impacts of impact of droughts so how the pre- prevention and how it control and mitigations so rains are caused by the number of the natural factors like air current wind direction etc thus the droughts are a natural phenomenon behind human control and prevention okay conservation of water through rain water harvesting building check dams etc constructions of reservoirs to hold emergency water supplies proper agriculture techniques these include the following increase use of drought drought resistant crops okay next we are going to see about landslide so landslide is also one of the natural disasters so recently we all know about that vayanadu landslide so it the peoples are affected the life of the peoples are affected so it is one of the great problem in the kerala street so it is one of the natural disasters so it will affect the people so next we pandemic so recently recently we know during the covid so during the epidemic so during the disease causing of the disease so it is causing of a disease that is the pandemic is an epidemic of the disease that has spread across a large region for instant multiple continent or worldwide affecting a substantial number of peoples so it was affected number of peoples okay during that period the many peoples affected so this is also one of the natural disasters so we can see in next videos thank you